Outside today, it is a beautiful day. Working on the second house now. We've got two rooms painted. Well on our way. And the first one's up for sale. So y'all send me a lot of positive energy to get that house sold. So I can get back out east. Okay? Alright. So I wanted to talk a little bit. You know, I've talked a lot about validifying y'all's feelings of feeling lost and alone. And that everything is wrong here. And so you know how I feel about that. And I agree with you. It is tough. But you're listening to me now. And you know that you're a creator God. And in, if you don't truly believe that statement, really, um, I don't know why you're listening to me. <laughs> because you are a creator God. And in that creator God statement is ultimate freedom. The second you totally embrace that. And if you don't embrace it, then you're stuck. You're stuck in a hell that is that you'll never get out of. Okay? So, when you're dealing with uh, things that trigger you into sadness, uh, looking around at the world as you see it, or the past, or um, people around you, the job, the country, any of that stuff, the first question should always be, why have I created this? Why have I created this? The second that you start talking about, well, it's the government's fault, or it's the job's fault, or it's the my lover's fault, the second you do that, you're lost. And you'll never get out. You'll never make things better. The second you say, why did I do this? You have total freedom. When you take control over all of it, and you accept the fact that everything in your life from the moment you were born until now has been your creation. The second you do that, then you're free. Because now it's just a matter of practice to get it right. I know I've told you all this before. So when you're dealing with these past events, if you're dealing with a difficult person in your life, the question should be, why am I creating this? Why am I going to the timeline where this person is so mean to me? Because there is an aspect of that person that is wonderful and beautiful. There is an aspect of this planet where all the countries work effectively and wonderfully and are in a very, very positive. There's a, there's a, a aspect of your job that works beautifully for you. The question is, why aren't you on that timeline? And there's only one person that can get you to that timeline, and that's you. So if you spend all of your time going back in into the past and moaning and groaning about how this or that treats you badly, then you will just emanate that vibration and it will continue to happen. This is why people get divorced and married, get divorced and married, and they get up in the same situations over and over. Same thing is true with jobs, is because they don't understand that they're the ones that created it to begin with. So if you want it to be different, you have to create differently, okay? Now, you may not understand how this works, how that creationary process works. We can use words. You can use mathematics. You can use science. You can use theology. Uh, all of those are just languages. They're languages to attempt to understand how the uh, law of attraction works. But ultimately, it is a very complex process that's built on a very simple concept. And if you're really into it, if you really want to try to figure it out, well, then certainly go into the mathematics, the science, the, the whatever. Um, ultimately, I personally think that it is too complex of an issue to truly understand until you're outside of the human brain. But that's my opinion and my opinion only. And they could be, somebody could figure it right on out. But ultimately, that's what it is. So when you're in a difficult situation, whether you've been triggered to remember a bad situation in your past, then the first question should not be, how did that person do this to me? How could someone who says they love you do this to me? No, the question should be, why did I create this? What was I emanating? How was I vibrationally 
um, set, where was my set point vibrationally that brought me to the timeline where this stuff occurred to me. Now with me, I went back in time right after I died where I saw it all and I could easily quickly see how it started, how it grew, how it kept going until I figured out how to stop it. Now I'm German and I do have German tendencies and I'm pretty much, uh, efficient. I'm all about efficiency. So I'm not really into the whole, let's tear everything apart from your past and try to analyze it in, in detail. I have done that on many, 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 um, points, many instances, many people. I have done that. All that did was take me down in vibration to the event that I was thinking about, and it made it difficult to be happier and happier. Ultimately, what I found was that spending my time in every moment of every day concentrating on being a little bit happier was the quickest, most efficient way of handling this whole question. So it doesn't matter whether or not you're dealing with a situation that's right in front of you or whether you've been triggered to something in the past. If you deal with it simply by being on top of, of how you're feeling at all times and then making that just a little bit better, you will eventually raise till you get to 5D. Or at the very least, you will have 4D in a happier way. Your 4D experience will be much more pleasant. As long as you are spending time analyzing and going over bad events, ones that trouble you, then you are emanating that vibration and you will recreate it in some way, form, or another in your now moment. Okay? So be, be warned. Be warned. You are more than welcome. Now, I'm never going to interfere with anybody's life path. I think whatever it is you do and whatever way you do it will add to the whole. It is, it is good for the whole whatever experience you take. But if you would like for it to be more efficient, then you must be pretty, pretty firm with yourself. And no one else is going to do this for you. You're the one that's going to have to be on top of yourself to see if you're going back in time to analyze a situation because you want to mope about it, that you want to be right. Remember that those, we don't collect happy moments like we collect sad moments, bad moments, difficult moments. Because that collection of the past in planning for the future is done by the ego. And the ego's job is to protect you. So its job is to collect the negative stuff. Which is why I'm really a big person to stay out of the past. Stay out of the past. The stuff that you remember was collected by your ego in order to keep you safe. So it is, by logic, negative stuff. It doesn't give you a true picture of your past. You are not remembering it in total. You are remembering it the way the ego has collected it. You've put it in your head in the way the ego has collected it in order to save you from getting into trouble or getting into a bad situation again. Now, once you remember that you're a creator God, all you've got to do is vibrate high. Bad things can't happen to you. It's just the way it's set up. So you can sidetrack the ego altogether. You no longer have to collect data on and prepare for what might happen in the future. Because remember that your God self is all about the now. The ego is all about past and future. The ego does not like to live in the now. The ego will do everything it can to stay out of the now. It spends all of its time thinking about the past, preparing for the future. So if you find yourself thinking about the past and about the future, you are not living as your God self. Your God self lives in the now and in, in a knowingness that whatever you're vibrating at, you'll take to timelines that will match that. So if you're going into the past, 90% of what you collect there is going to be negative. And you're going to look back at your life and you're going to see negative stuff. But that's not true. You've had wonderful, wonderful moments in time that have not been collected collected by the ego. Just absolutely blissful moments that have not been collected by the ego. And you've had many of them, much more happy moments than you have negative ones. But the ego doesn't collect that because there's no point in it. 
The ego collects for a reason. It collects for a reason. Okay? Does that make sense? So remember that when you walk through this day, time, day by day, all of the vibrations that are on this planet are available for you to be happy. It is your choice every moment of every day. If you spend your time going back in your past or worrying about what your future holds, you will undoubtedly be vibrating lower than you're capable of, of vibrating. If you look at the little things around you and the little things are what raise your vibration the quickest and the fastest, the things that don't hold any any egoic danger with them. Watching a butterfly has, holds no danger. Walking through a park holds no danger. If you're watching the 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 uh, flowers come out, and I don't know where you guys are, but here, this is when spring starts to come out over the last week. We've been able to see it really, really a lot of grass growing, a lot of the early flowers of coming out. And you can take those moments, and those moments simply are not collected by the ego of your past. So your past has been better than you remember it to be. But what I want you to remember is that no one is going to do this for you. No one can get inside of your mind and tell you. Uh, I could if I was living with you, if you were in Naya's boot camp. I would be calling your attention to it every moment that I was with you. I would be drawing your attention to the fact that you are worrying about something that might happen or you're remembering something in the past that was messing up your now moment. Because in the now, uh, frequently, most of your day is pretty, pretty darn decent. Pretty darn decent if you look at it objectively. But ultimately, it's just easier, guys. It's easier staying in the now and operating for what you're dealing with right this moment. If you spend all of your time trying to analyze what you've done in the past or what others have done to you, then if you are going to do that, then remember you are doing it from an egocentric um, perspective, not from a God perspective. And try to remember to ask the question, why did I do this? That will lead you back to your God self faster than anything else will. And it is the truth. Everything has happened because you created it. A lot of people that I talk to, they, they, they don't have any problem with the stuff that they've created that's positive. But they have a real problem admitting that they're the ones that created the negative. But until you accept both sides that you've created the good and the bad, then you cannot fully live as your God self. And you cannot completely consciously create. You must be honest about everything is about what you've created. Not just the good stuff, not just the bad stuff, but all of it. You've created all of it. Every single moment of it, it's been you. It always was you. It always has been and always will be you. Okay? All right, guys. I uh, love you so much. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.